Every day is a new day. Smile. Stay positive and give your best. Welcome back to the today's session. Hi children. How are you all? I hope you are fine by the grace of God. Children, today you are going to learn a new lesson in science. Unit 3, Force. Children, what is the topic of the lesson? Force. Very good. Children, are you ready to learn? Yeah. In this lesson, first we are going to learn and understand about simple movements and actions. Children, in our daily life, we are doing lot of actions like walking, running, jumping, sitting, writing, playing, turning and twisting. Children, we often use our muscles to pull or push things. Children, by doing these actions, we move or change the shape of an object. That is called movement. Children, what is movement? Change in position of an object is called movement. Children, for example, imagine you play in a playground. All the things around you that can move. The seesaw goes up and down. The swings go back and forth. The merry-go-round goes in a round and circle. Children, action is the motion which gives the required result. Children, next motion. When an object or a thing moves from one place to another, it is said to be in motion. Children, what is motion? Motion is movement from one place to another. Force Force is a push or a pull on an object which make it move, changes its shape or stops it from moving. Children, we use force to walk, to lift any object, to throw anything, to move any object from its place. Isn't it? Force involves an interaction between two or more objects. Children, force is there in every activity we do. Without force, we can't move any object. By applying force, we usually bring anything in motion. But not always. For example, if we apply force on a wall, it does not move. Ok children? Push. Children, what is push? When a force is applied in the direction of an object, that is called push. Children, for example, kicking a football, moving a loaded cart away from us, pedaling a bicycle, pushing the trolley, 
pushing the table from one place to another closing the door children next pull when a force is applied in the direction opposite to the direction of an object that is called pull children for example opening the door pulling the curtain dragging the box in bullock cart a cart is being pulled by a bullock children we come to realize that either a pull or push is required to move an object so force is a push or pull on an object okay children